Hello everybody welcome to my channel this is Ravi and I am going to explain you today clinical SAS topic 28 that is what is time to event and what is overall survival rate summary. I am going to explain you to this in detail uh, by using the one table and how to derive this uh, time to event and overall survival analysis etc in this session. Okay. See here what is overall survival means nothing but the length of time from either the date of diagnosis or the start of treatment for a disease such a cancer the patient diagnosis with a disease are still alive. In clinical trial measuring the overall survival is one way to see how well a new treatment works also called as OS means oral survivors. Nothing but after taking the treatment how the subject or patient is going to survive, how much time he survive, how much the rate of survival lens we can measure after taking the drug. Okay, what is the time to event? For example, if a event is death or occurrence or marriage or divorce, anything. For example, if we decided one event, how much time it will take from the point to reaches our time to event that defined as time to event. Survival analysis is generally defined as a set of method for analyzing the data where the outcome variable is time until the occurrence of an event of interest. The event can be death, occurrence of a disease, marriage or divorce etc. The time to event or survival time can be measured in days or weeks or years etc. Okay. Here you can see the pictorial representation after recruiting at one point some subjects are death or event some subjects are censored. In the censor variable you can find 1 0 0 means death 1 means since he was survived. Here observations are called censored when the information about the survival time is incomplete the most commonly encountered in form is the right censoring. Okay. Here one table is there time to event summary overall survival intent to treat populations okay here x extend y y drug is there and how to measure time to event in months and what is the median and 95 percent of ci 25th and 75th a percentile and range how can we calculate and six months patient how many patients at risk and how many patients overall survival rates rate 95 percent ci how to measure this by using statistical coding okay before that we need to sort our ATG data set or any time to event data set by filtering our param cd and our required population and create one temporary data set and later if it is in a days aval is days we need to convert it is in months because the table showing only in a in comma in the form of months. So we need to divide it by 30. You will get the aval value in days, in months. So we can present it is in months. Okay. And later use the PROC life test and the particular data set and configuration type is linear. The we have to generate 95% CI. So alpha is 0 0.05 and time equal to aval the aval means the month's value versus sensor equal to we have to put one okay uh, how many subjects are still censoring zero means death one means censoring so we have to put one and here the strata in treatment wise so after using this we have to get output out data set product limit estimate and quartiles in the quartiles data set we have named as quart data set in the quart data set we need to percent estimate lower limit and upper limit we have to take and here you can see percentage estimate lower limit and upper limit at the particular 50th percentage the estimate we can consider it as median and this lower limit and upper limit we can consider as 95 percent ci and 25th and 75th percentile you can see this was a 25th 15.1 and 75th we have not estimated here you can see 15.1 and not estimated in case of range what we have to do is 
here estimated data set before we will get quarter data set as well as estimate data set in this estimate data set survival not equal to 1 and first dot trtn or last dot trtn both we have to pick and the first value we can consider it as uh, lower reference range and second value we have to consider upper reference range okay and if you want as well as six months overall survival range rate as well as percentage at risk we need to calculate for this purpose the same procedures was used but the, in the time list we need to give six up to six months how many patients at risk at risk as well as how many patients will get by using here survival minus 1.96 into standard error it will give lower 95 percent confidence interval and it is high CI 95 percent confidence high rate this is a lower value this is a higher value by using data step also we can find lower and upper 95 percent CI by using proc like test upon proc life test we'll get estimated six data set that is product limit estimate we have to name it as data set as esteem six and we uh, do some modifications estimate date six we need to find out 95 percent lower and upper and here in the months we have to survival CIL CIH lower and upper this was the survival here you can see here nine six months data set how many patients at risk 386 you will get 386 for the particular subject number at risk in the variable we can get this number and in the OS rate you will find here survival rate you can find this OS rate and 95 percent lower as well as upper this was the lower this was the higher you will get six months if you want 12 months in the case of time list you have to put 12 months 12 number that's it and here and the remaining table here you, you want to populate unstratified analysis as well as stratified analysis in the unstratified analysis you want to display p-value by using Langrag method and hazard ratio as well as 95 percent in the same way stratified analysis p-value hazard ratio and 95 percent what is the stratified variables some variables are variables by which a study population is divided up into strata or groups are asked added to select stratified sample in some variables the statistician was decided these are the stratified variable based upon the stratified variable we need to populate this 95 percent hazard ratio as well as p-value between the treatment is was populated uh, either xx or not yy treatment between the treatment we have to compare both the treatments so we need to display this between the treatments only okay for this purpose how we are writing the code this here if we are going to do unstratified analysis lag rank method the strata is only trtn treatment wise if we are going to do stratified analysis p value stratified equal to what are the stratification variables mentioned in the protocol in the sap measured by the statistician we use stratified variables and aval versus sensor variable and configuration type is called linear and here trtn test equal to lag rank method while using this code you'll get props chi square q p value by representing this p value between the treatments for the unstratified in case of stratified lag rank p method just using this method adjust equal to bond means this method was mentioned in the sap brook mayer and crowley method just the simple syntax is live test time equal to aval into sensor variable and what are the stratification variable used mentioned and group equal to trtn test equal to lag rank method okay and in case of uh, hazard ratio hazard ratio as well as 95 percent crf ci here stratification analysis we use strata variable non unstratification hazard ratio we will mention just only trtn model equal to aval into sensor variable as well as grouping variable is trtn here also same but we will mention only stratification variable alpha equal to 0 0.05 means 95 percent of ci you will get okay and this was a syntax you will get by using proc frig method you will get hazard ratio hr lower ci 
HR upper CI. If you want to display hazard ratio, proc frig method generally we use by using proc frig method you will get the values hazard ratio and lower as well as upper confidence interval of this particular stratification or unstratification related data set. For this data set output out equal to parameter estimate data set we can use. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please like share and comment if you want more interesting safety as well as efficacy related clinical such topic please subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching this video for more interesting SaaS interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you